Been off for Splatoon 3. I feel like they said we're not. Why am I making a Russian <laughs> accent? Uh, we're not. We're... Howdy, brothers. Welcome. Welcome. What is up, everybody? Hope y'all had a great Christmas. And if you're uh, you're here today, that means you made it through 2020, because uh, we're on to 2021. And it's me, Steven, and I'm here with the, my homie, Ravo. How you doing? Yo, what's up? Merry oh, Christmas. Yeah, yo, Merry Chrysler. Let's get it. Yo. Yo, all right. All right. Today we got our 2021 predictions for the entire year. Yes, sir. For specifically Nintendo. Yes, yep. sir. None of that Fortnite beeswax. Yo, none of none of that Xbox trash. That's for real. Yeah. None of that Xbox trash. Or um, PlayStation, good game. Good no. games, but you'll never get the console. So, good luck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for real. And also, we'll be looking forward to uh, what you'll never see coming this year, uh, which is probably you'll never see F Zero ever again. No, yeah, I'm just we'll playing. <laughs> but anyways, I'll start off with uh, what I think right. is coming. In, uh, I'm going to go month to month. So I'm going to start in January uh, with some of my predictions. And for January, Ravo, uh, I got I got some not so big predictions. All right. So I'm, right. I'm not going to say what I think is going to be in the Nintendo Direct. But I think what we're getting in January is just a Nintendo Direct kind of announcing... Um, some of the games that we're going to see in 2021, uh, like the first half of the year. Yeah. Nothing in the second half because I think they'll save that for E3. Uh, yeah. so, but I don't think they're g there's going to be any games um, from Nintendo coming out in January. I think they're saving that for February, and then they'll and then they'll start the cycle. I think. Yeah. See, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, that's kind of my prediction for January is like not really money thing, many things happening. Because I feel like January is just such an early month. Yeah. Know, maybe we'll get something cool. But yeah, I feel like January is just going to be relatively tame. Maybe we'll get a Smash announcement, but usually it goes by two months. So you get. Yeah. Like so far, before, like whereas last year, they would just do it every single month. Mm -hmm. Before Covina. Yeah. Covina. I, I think that they're going to spread out Smash announcements a little bit more. This. Because yeah. they only have. I feel like last year they were struggling to like work on the Smash characters and they kind of rushed it. Yeah. But I think they'll spread them out. I think we'll see our first Smash character later in the year, kind of like they did with like Joker. Like he'll come around the time that Joker did and then. Like summer and then one in winter. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I guess we'll move on to February. Then. Yeah, yeah. There's not much to talk about. I know, <laughs> true. All right, I'll I'll start in February. So uh, February second, we have the 3D World port coming out. Uh, you know, one of the last games coming over from the Wii U, which, uh, and then they also have Bowser's Fury, and I just have a. Wait, what? I forgot what? about that. Yeah. I said I totally forgot about that. Oh. Yeah, Bowser's Fury. So I have some predictions for what that might be. Um, Alright. I feel like ba Bowser's Fury is going to be... Did you play Super Mario Odyssey real quick? Uh, yeah, but I didn't really like do any of the post-game. I just beat oh, the game. Oh, okay. That, I, was just, I was just wondering if you beat the game. Because I think um, my prediction, I think, is Bowser's Fury is going to be a lot like the end of Super Mario Odyssey. I think it's going to be like a short uh, little campaign, like 12 hours, um, that just like are ra super random and take place after 3D World, but you're like Meowser, the <laughs> main boss of uh, 3D World, you're Meowser, and you're basically you're playing as Bowser the whole time, and you're trying to find Peach. I don't know. It's kind of lame, but I feel like it, it's always fun to play as Bowser, like in Odyssey it was. I'm hoping it's just gonna be like Dark Souls Mario Edition. That would so, be sick. It's just hilariously edgy. Mario with the sword? Game. Mario with the sword. Alright, yeah, but my predictions in February is I feel like either in January or February, we may get a Nintendo Direct or a Pokemon Direct like they yeah. did last or this year with the DLCs. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there were since it's Pokemon 25th 
for Pokemon's 25th anniversary, I think we're going to see a lot of Pokemon-related things. Yep. No, I and agree. I feel like we probably we might see Diamond and Pearl remakes, but I'm not, I can't be 100% certain, just basing on the pattern. Mm-hmm. And then we, and then they'll probably introduce maybe some new Pokemon games. After Crown Tundra was going to come out, I assumed there was going to be a direct showing Diamond and Pearl remakes, but they didn't do that. But they might. I'm just saying they might do it in February. That's just yeah. my predictions. And I feel like people will go crazy if it's in February and it'd be pretty hype. But I can't be certain. Mm-hmm. No, I, I also had my second uh, prediction in february i had pokemon direct yeah and that's what i'm thinking i think they'll announce uh like you said i th- i don't think it'll release in february but i think diamond and pearl uh remakes are going to be announced and come out sometime this year they always come out near november yes yeah they like they don't really come out during like the summer months or any of that they always come out during november just because of mm-hmm. the first sales yeah but i feel like diamond and pearl remakes are gonna have a lot of good stuff in it i feel like they can't rush it out like they did with the other games because if they did then there's just gonna be like it diamond and pearl is like the big the biggest pokemon games everybody knows them mm-hmm. and that would could be their selling point for a lot of newer fans for people who haven't played it before but, yeah 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 that's what i'm assuming yeah i'll go to my march um predictions because it kind of goes hand in hand here because i had um you know or i had a pokemon game that's coming out in march actually uh i think that february direct for pokemon i think we'll announce gen 4 remakes that will probably come out in november which you'll find out if i officially have that coming in my in later in the predictions um but i think pokemon snap um, oh, yeah. will be released in March. I really do feel like it was supposed to be released in November um, last year, but I, or not last year, This it's still 2020, um, but but I think it was supposed to be released on um, November 2020 and it got delayed just because of Covina. Yeah, West Covina. Yep, so yeah, I have that, and I think the Switch Pro will release. Kind of a bold prediction. But I think yeah. Switch Pro re- will release in March, and it'll be shown off in at the Direct in January, I think. Yeah. Pokemon Snap may be March. I'm not sure. I feel like Snap seems pretty beachy, so I feel like it would come out in, like, summer. Yeah, but we'll that's get true. To that. March, I feel like there's definitely going to be a Smash character. Definitely announced in February. But I feel like there definitely will be a new Smash character, and I'm just going to see what do you think the new Smash character will be. What do I think? Yeah. I I have my new Smash character coming out in April. And, uh, wait, do you not have a prediction on who you think the new Smash character is going to be? Well, I can't be for certain, but it could be, like, I don't really know what fit. Because after Steve got in the game, I'm like, uh, you know, I don't got anybody. So. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's saying Mortal Kombat, which I don't see. Maybe not really Doom Guy, but I would say Master Chief, most likely, maybe. Since usually yeah. they go on a cycle, and since Sephiroth got in the game, which is like a, probably a bigger chap in, in the Japan mm-hmm. kind of gaming industry, I'd say maybe would get Master Chief or like Arbiter or someone, or maybe a champion like Rivali. Mika. Yes, yeah. The Rook's not getting into Smash, I know that for a moment. <laughs> and, um,. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm assuming the Smash characters are going to be I like. think, yeah, I think Master Chief and Doom Guy would be a good choice because I feel like we haven't got many, like, gunners as DLC. Mm-hmm. Like, they're mainly all sword characters, like, it seems. Or, like, super rangy people like Min Min and Byleth who have, like, or Byleth is not really a sword character. has, like, every weapon, but I don't know. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go to I'll go to my April prediction since I have my Smash character in my April. Um, I have my Smash character releasing in April, and uh, Raymond breaks the ice is what I have. April? I'm not sure. I mean, I could see Raymond coming in, but he'd just be really annoying to fight. I feel like yep, and really hard because he's like 
five blobs in a head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the amiibo is gonna um not work. It won't. Will never release. But I mean, this unpopular opinion here. I am happy that Gino did not get in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just feel like he would like. He's not that big of a character. He's not. And, he's not. Yeah. Yeah, he's just like from one game, and he's like not really that unique. He's like mm-hmm. kind of boring. He's just got like toy. I do wish and, we got him as like a at least like a full on costume, like they did Sans and Cuphead. Oh yeah, that would have been cool. But I yeah. mean, at least now we can have Cuphead Gino. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Cuphead Gino. Dang, I need to buy the outfit now. So I could do that. Um, but yeah, do, Raymond breaks the ice. Do you think he's in that ice blob? Ice block on Battlefield? I, <laughs> I really I think just, they're saving him. And he's going to break I out. See Raymond in. I, I don't know if I would. I don't care if Raymond gets in. I mean, I got my boy Steve already. Yeah. I've been a Minecrafter for a while. Steve is a part of my childhood. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a connection to Raymond, but I just feel like it makes sense. Like he's it does kind he's of, a pretty big yeah. character. Nintendo and Ubisoft, Ubisoft, however you say it, um, have a good relationship, and I feel like it's just bound to happen. Yeah. But I also got another prediction in April, real quick. Um, it's a Kirby game, and it's called Kirby Air Ride Warriors. And it's, it'll be the first warrior game but uh, that's like fully online but it has it has like a short story but it's fully online 25 verse 25 um, like battle royale Cur- Kirby game <laughs> that is oddly specific but yep. I think that's cool <laughs> yeah that caught me up guard yeah uh, the- yeah but Assuming April, I feel like we'll get another announcement for a Smash character. Mm-hmm. They usually like to do that. Actually, maybe not another announcement. Maybe May we'd get an announcement. Yeah, I, I'm saying J- probably June, honestly, for E3 maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we'll probably see many Mario things next year. Because mm, like, nah. I feel like today was just Mario enough. Mm-hmm. Or this year? Not today. I mean, <laughs> um. Yeah, we won't see any Mario games. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see any sort of... I don't think we're going to see any Zelda in March. We're not going to see... Or in April. I don't think we're going to see many cool games in April. Like, really, like, hype games. Yeah. Hype things. I feel like it's just going to be relatively chill. Yeah, I feel like the first half of the year always seems a little more chill. And then the yeah. second half, they get into the big games. I'll hop into my May predictions. I kind of think Nintendo's going to have a big year. That's why I have a bunch of these. Like, I have like a, a game prediction for pretty much every month for the rest of the year. Um, I think May... Um, just I'm just saying this, this game's coming out in May because uh, the last uh, game that came out also came out in May. Uh, from this series you said not a lot of mario games are coming but i think that this is a mario game that got delayed from last year it's just my guess Um, but i think earlier on in the year i think we're supposed to have a game called mario kart ultimate mario kart ultimate yes and this is like smash ultimate so it includes all the tracks from every game every mario kart game all the characters that have been in a Mario Kart game, so yes, Queen B is back, baby. No. Let's go. And I think we're gonna get some new characters, um, such as Fox McCloud, Captain Falcon, Tom Nook. I think we're gonna see Ganondorf in a cart. Yes. Uh, Cappy, which is gonna be really weird, but he's gonna be driving. Uh, Kirby, Samus, King K. Rule, Ridley. Yes, that's really weird. Uh, and Min Min, it's just a kind yeah, of a Min bold Min. prediction, but I just I just feel it. I just feel it. Uh, all right. And we're gonna get courses from all those characters too, like and sick I, stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. May. I don't know. <clears throat> I, I I see what I'm thinking. And since it's May, uh-huh. we're gonna get a Smash announcement for Cal Kestis on May. Oh the 4th. my just God! Kidding. May the fourth. Let's go, dude. Baby Grogu. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's 
so stupid. But yeah, maybe <laughs> on May I see, I'd say we probably get another Smash character. I don't know what games are really big in Japan, but most likely another Japanese popular character. Yeah. Maybe Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, maybe um, the um, the starters or like a po or like Cinderace or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Pokemon. Uh -huh. I feel like Cinderace would fit pretty well. I feel like Pokemon, like, people have stopped talking about Pokemon as a... A new Pokemon as a Smash character after, like, Steve and Sephiroth. They're like, it's never gonna happen. Just I mean... Because they thought it was happening as the next one, you know? As the second. Steve, yeah. Steve mined his way in. <laughs> Steve mined his way in. <laughs> I just imagine a Pokemon trying to grab it, and then Steve is just, like... Comes in with his, like, massive army... Mm -hmm. Minecrafters and <laughs> Cinderace and then just grabs a note. Because we didn't see it happen. He didn't grab a note. Hmm. Yeah, true. That's we needed it Sephiroth, but we all know Sephiroth murdered somebody to get it. <laughs> so That's so weird, but I was just thinking right now, like Mario Kart Ultimate, I didn't say Pikachu would be in there. Like that is, is that would that be possible? Hmm. Yeah, it would be. But I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm forgetting about now, Pokemon. Game-wise, I feel like we might but most likely see Pokemon Snap in this time frame. Mm-hmm. And then, um... And it would just be hype. Because it looks beautiful. Yeah, it, it does. It looks really nice. Much better and, than, uh... Yeah, Sword and Shield. Yeah. So, how? let me see. How many more characters are left in Smash? We only get three more, so... Alright, three more? Yeah. I don't right. think they would release them too, like, fast after another. I'm All thinking, right. like, every three to four months. Even though that's a long time, I feel yeah, like. Yeah. But for this Smash character, I'd say either... Uh, you know what? I don't know. I'd say maybe Youth Master Chief. <laughs> maybe a Fortnite character. Yeah. Just because we got Steven, you never know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I feel like I, I know who they're definitely saving for last. Okay, okay, I'll wait for that. I'm excited to see what they're saving for last. Mm -hmm. But I, I know who I got them saving for last, too. And I don't think it's gonna, I don't think you're going to agree with it at all. I don't think anyone is. But I just felt it. I was like, Nintendo, they're just going to do this, I swear. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. You got any other predictions for May? No. All right, I'll hop on to June. This is where all the good stuff is going to be starting to come out. It's going to, yeah, the good stuff I think is going to be starting to get announced here um, at yeah. E3. And then the next coming months, we're going to get some hype stuff. I don't think specifically in June, like, we're going to get an actual, like, one of those games that gets announced at E3. Um, but I, I have a small Mario sports game uh, coming. I think Super Mario Strikers Switched is going to be what it's called. And it's gonna be released in June, and uh, yeah, it's just it's gonna have it's gonna be exactly the same thing as the old Super Mario Strikers, except you can uh, now switch your players in uh, to your game mid game, like switch your characters at in mid game. Not you don't have to like turn off the whole game just to switch your characters. I don't know if that yeah. makes sense because I don't know if you played it, but um, yeah, I think that's gonna come. I feel like we'll get a uh, announcement for some Metroid game. Yes. My, I, and I think it's gonna be Metroid Prime Federation Force 3D. 3D. Do you really think that's coming? I feel like we're gonna get something Metroid. I don't yes. know. Maybe Metroid Prime 4 announcement. Maybe they'll be like, um, get it sometime then. I'm assuming. Yeah. No, I think we're going to get our first gameplay of Metroid Prime 4 um, yeah. at E3, but I think it'll come out in 2022, is my prediction. Yeah, I feel like 2022 would, would be the same thing. Early 2022, like but yeah. we'd get a, be a better trailer for Breath of the Wild 2. Yes. Especially we get some gameplay, some people talking about it, you know, it'll be everywhere. You know, yeah. we'll have like one video to go off of. Yeah, I think we'll get also get a trailer, and I think we'll get a release date. Yeah, that too. 
Um, I'd say we'd probably get some sort of other announcement for the Zelda 25th and for 35th anniversary. Yes. And um, also an announcement that it's Pokemon's 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And then all this crazy stuff. If if there's not a Pokemon Direct in February, we'll definitely get one in June. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Everybody be hyped. People will be, um, you know, playing mm -hmm. out in the summer, the summer snow, you know, chilling. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're in for a big, a big year. Um, yeah. For the for the or the big a big rest of the year here. And I feel like we're gonna probably get an announcement for a new Splatoon game. Do you think? Uh, do you think it's gonna be Splatoon three or a spinoff? Either a spinoff or a Splatoon three. I feel like they said we're not. Why am I making a Russian accent? <laughs> uh, we're not. We're, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say they're not making maybe Splatoon three. I'd say maybe they say development starts and they give a teaser and then mm -hmm. they'll announce some sort of spinoff for Splatoon, like yeah. the Octo Boys or something like that. Octo Boys. I honestly, I feel like there's some big potential with the Splatoon spinoff, and I feel like they should try something. Yeah. Before they, like Spl yeah, keep going. I feel like if Splatoon is updated more, I feel like that would be a big thing. Like, because I feel like Splatoon they could make into something just as big as like Overwatch or mm -hmm. uh, Overwatch or Valorant because they they have similar game mechanics, but I feel like they shouldn't just copy like they do now with splatoon like how they just kind of made splatoon one but with in the switch and then added more things to it yeah i like want a full like new weapons i want a lot of updates mm -hmm. that's what i'm hoping for splatoon 3 all right i guess but, we can move yeah. on wait i think i have one more okay what do you got the announcement since they're announcing breath of the wild or they're announcing zelda's 35th anniversary i'd say they're gonna have Breath of the Wild Battle Royale. Just saying. Just saying. Watch out for that. Yep. Yeah, I I I don't remember where I put it in my uh, uh my uh predictions, but I know that I have that somewhere in here too. <laughs> Breath of the Wild Battle Royale. Hundred yeah. players drop into the Breath of the Wild map. Yes. Yes. Drop from the sky or something. And yeah, it's just gonna be all hype. Basically, you know, you're just gonna grab weapons, kill people, and then Ganon's gonna push everybody closer into the middle, and then you beat every everybody up. Mm -hmm. I don't know how exactly it's gonna work, but I just imagine that, and it'd be sick. All right, July now. All right, uh, so July we got Z. I got Xenoblade X releases. So that's the the Wii U game coming over to the Switch. Okay. I feel like that's like the one thing I see that people are asking for from Nintendo because Wii U legit. I think that's like one of the last games that was like actually uh, known to be pretty good to come over yeah. to the Switch. So I think they're gonna finally send that over. And usually nothing too big comes out in July, so I think a port might be the best yeah. thing here. I don't know. Maybe Nintendo Land too. Nintendo Land 2? Dude, I would totally take that. If they gave us fully well, online. But Nintendo, but Nintendo Land 2 would also be pretty sick, so I will take it. Yeah, dude, that would be awesome. But I'd, I'd, I'd take that over Xenoblade X. Dude, Nintendo Land was so underrated. I'm just sad because yes. it was on the Wii U. And it was just so good. Yeah, like, yeah. There's that Pikmin minigame. There's that Zelda one. It was yeah. all really fun. Yes, the Pikmin one. I was always on the Luigi Mansion. Luigi's Mansion Ghost Hunt one. That was fire. Oh, also, sorry. I just now thought of something for June. Uh, I'd say they probably announced maybe a uh, VR thing for the Switch. Mm. Like actual full-blown VR. Maybe that. In I'll just add it to July, even though that's probably a June thing. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's all I got for July. All right, I'll go to August. I I already said this uh, once, but I think... Oh, wait, no, I didn't say this. But for August, I have Metroid Prime Trilogy HD. I think it's what they announced. Um, I think they announced at E3 they, uh, 
Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I think at E3, though, they announced Metroid Prime Trilogy HD, and then they show all the Metroid Prime gameplay um, for early 2022 when it comes out. But I think we're going to get Metroid Prime Trilogy first coming out, just so you have some oh. time to oh. beat it. Oh, oh, do you know what I just looked up right now? Metroid is going to be on its 30th, 30th anniversary. Really? Yep, That's that means we're probably going to get gameplay for Metroid Prime four yep and most likely that uh trilogy we're mentioning dang okay so yeah, everyone's I got an anniversary <laughs> yeah big year 2021 all right let's go i'm right all then right. <laughs> yeah most Just likely hopefully i got I, the I month right i could see it like the same trilogy but 3d i never beat metroid prime 3 i'm so sad yep. but um yeah i could see that and it would be really mm -hmm. fire yeah Alrighty. Um, now for August, I don't have too many predictions. I don't really think many things will be announced in August. Just kind of that. Actually, maybe more Pokemon stuff would be announced. It mm -hmm. seems like a pretty Pokemon y month. Maybe something Zelda. Something. Yeah. I don't, something I don't really. Small for Zelda, maybe. September and August, I don't really see much. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. I guess we'll move on to September if you're. Okay. So for September, I have a game that's kind of old coming to Nintendo Switch. Um, I have Star Fox Adventures coming to Nintendo Switch in HD. Um, so that's an old GameCube game um, that was pr pretty like loved by the fans. It's because it's like it's not all in space. Like you can actually get out of your ship and like actually play as Fox. And it feels more like a Zelda-ish game, uh, so I think they're just gonna they're gonna port because there's no Star Fox representation on the Switch. So I think we're gonna get Star Fox Adventures, uh, and it's there's gonna be Star Fox Adventures two releasing sometime in 2022. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that mm -hmm. September. I feel like September just makes me feel very Mario, but I don't know what they would add. Oh, yeah. they, I would say maybe they're saving uh, like Mario Maker 3 or something. Yeah, I, I just can't see them doing that so early because I feel like didn't it didn't just come out two years ago. Oh, it did. That's right. That just seems too early. I feel like Mario something could come out, but I just don't know what they would oh. do. They've. Zelda Dungeon Maker or something like that. Okay. That's what I could see in September. Zelda Dungeon Maker would be sick. Yeah, I would play. I'd buy it instead. Yeah. Do you think um, it would be 2D dungeons or 3D? Because I think I feel like 3D I would be so top, hard. I think top down, not yeah. 3D. I, I mean, they could do 3D, give you templates, and you just kind of... I feel like they could do 3D, top down, mm -hmm. maybe another 2D. So you can have 3D... Thing. You can make yours a 3D level. You can make yours a um, top down. And I feel like they wouldn't do 2D, but I feel like you would do a top down one. Like if with like the oldest top down one being yeah. like um um the first Zelda, and then you go to like modern day Link's Awakening, like the yeah nice the Switch one. one, yeah. And then and then um Link Between Worlds, which I I would definitely always make mine a Link Between Worlds. Yeah, that would I be like, awesome. I that do was, feel like they could do 3D. They could, definitely. Yeah, and that could no. be insane. I also, for September, because maybe maybe I'm just saying this is coming out in September because Mario's um, Mario 3D All-Stars came out in September. Um, but I have The Legend of Zelda 35th Anniversary HD Collection. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and I, I I think that includes Ocarina of Time HD, Majora's Mask HD, Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword HD, which is kind of a lot, maybe too much, um, but I I think that they pretty much already have Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD done, and I feel like it wouldn't be too hard to do Ocarina and Majora's Mask because they were on 3DS. I think Skyward Sword might take a minute though. Yeah, it's a yeah. big jump, but still, they already, like, they have it already is. decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, they look nice. Um, you have any other predictions for September? Uh, I do, I do. Um, so, 
I think what you were saying earlier about a battle royale for um, for Zelda, I think I, I have this. I had the same idea because I think we talked about it last September. Um, but I think it's going to be an exclusive game for Nintendo Switch Online. And it's going to be limited until March 2022 because they like to do that for some reason. Um, and I think it's going to be called uh, Battle for Hyrule. And it's going to be a uh-huh. Zelda Battle Royale where you're on two teams. You either, uh, you're trying to invade the castle or you're trying to defend the castle. And I think all Zelda characters will be playable. And I literally mean all of them. And I feel, I feel like for Zelda, what they would do is make a battle royale. Like you have, because they have the Breath of the Wild map. It's a perfect yes. battle royale map. Uh-huh. Just saying, <laughs> it's perfect for it. And like, there's all kinds of weapons. Like all, basically, Breath of the Wild has so many weapons mm-hmm. you just use. And then I feel like everybody would drop Hyrule Castle or something, and that'd just be like the death zone. Yeah, die there. <laughs> that's like, Tilted Towers. Like, yeah, it's like Tilted Towers. <laughs> Everybody's gonna get that. Like, they're gonna get this. Like, giant. They're gonna get those. Like, um, honor guard swords, and mm-hmm. just whoop everybody who gets a. <laughs> everybody gets a rusty sword. Yeah, that would be yeah, sick I, if you could throw your sword too, like in Breath yeah, of the Wild. Can, yeah, you probably will be able to. Throw your sword. You get a bow. You get bombs. Like that, I would love that. And they already have gliders. They basically already have yes, the setup. Yeah, that's true. That's for true. A battle royale. I, I really like, want this, but I feel like it won't happen. <laughs> dude, we well, gotta hope. Yeah, that's true. That's gotta true. start a ballot. Okay, actually, it could happen because they did it for Mario, but not obviously not the way that we're thinking. But they did a yeah. battle royale for Mario. But also, that would be perfect. Oh wait, what? I said Zelda would be perfect for that, though. Yes. And sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. I just, I had one more prediction. I have so many predictions for September. I just have another Smash character. I think we'll get Master Chief in September. Uh, so you're spacing yours out more than mine is. I feel yeah. like it'd go Master Chief, or either Master Chief default, and then Japanese character, and then, or maybe Fortnite default and Master Chief or Master Chief. I, I'd actually have a uh, default skin low on my low on my list. Yeah. If like it could happen, but October. We'll what do you get got? What do you got? Do you want to go? October. Yeah. All right. So for October, my prediction is the last character is definitely gonna be Waluigi. Oh like, snap! Everybody's like, bro, he's a assist trophy, but I'm like, bro, but he's the most wanted one, and they gotta end it off with a bang. Yeah. No. Waluigi's the most wanted character. Okay, if they did Waluigi, I would like that. That would fulfill some dreams right there. Like I feel like everyone's wanted him since, like at least we, at least yeah. we when Wario got in. So, I feel like that's a good prediction as the last character. I feel like it fits pretty well, even though some people would be disappointed. Yeah. I mean, people were disappointed when Steve got in, so you can't please everyone. <laughs> yeah, you can't please anyone. It sucks. Okay. Do you got any other predictions for October? October, I got, um, I got probably some more. Well, I feel like October is gonna be like crazy. I got a feeling that October is gonna just deliver on the games. Like, I let's move on to you, and then I'll just start thinking of things. Okay. You so you want me to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so October, I only have... I, just, I don't think it's going to be crazy big, but I don't think it's going to be small. But I think we'll get a new Mario Party game. I think everyone's mad about the new, the Mario Party that's already on Switch, and they wanted an actual... Like, that Mario Party wasn't bad, but they wanted an actual, like, old-school, like, good Mario Party game that used to be on the GameCube. So I think we'll get Mario Party Ultimate, or Mario Party 11... Um, and I think it'll, it'll be like Mario Kart and like Smash Ultimate. Uh, I think all mini games, all boards, all characters, all side games. I don't know if you've played any of the side games, but they had like hockey and volleyball on like some of the old, um, Mario Party games where you can play as like Mario and like bash people into the walls. It was insane. Um, and then I think new map or new, um, board games and new mini games are coming. So, that's yeah. all I have for that. 
I could see that. Yeah. Newer game, mini games. I could see um, Metroid, like a Metroid game where you kind of fight each other. Yeah, that would be sick. Like a like Metroid had multiplayer on Metroid Prime Two. I think they should definitely do that again. Like maybe even release a Metroid multiplayer game before Metroid Prime Four, but that's for Metroid Prime Four. Yeah, I think it's gonna. There's gonna have like a. Um, there's gonna be like a Metroid kind of game, kind of like how Splatoon plays or like Valorant or Overwatch plays. It's not really battle royale since you already have a gun attached to your arm. Yeah. Or you could be Zero Suit Samus. I don't know. <laughs> I could see a battle royale, but I don't really think it would happen. Yeah. I mean, I could be wrong. Zelda and Metroid could swap places, but um, yeah, I, I see that. I see the battle royale um, or a fighting game of some sort. It's not a fighting game, but yeah. like an attacking game. But I October, yeah, just the Smash and Metroid thing, I really don't... I feel a lot of things for October, I just don't know if it's for, like, Nintendo-wise. Yeah. I th I think if we did get a, a multiplayer for, like, um, Metroid, I felt like it would be more like Halo than, uh, yeah, like, a Battle what, Royale. But I yeah, I... yeah, that's what I was trying to get into words. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I could definitely see that though. That that'd be sick with like hopping into like crazy vehicles, but like smaller maps and like I, I don't know, rolling around to get places faster. You can go in like Samus's little morph ball because he like uh, usually chills in a ball when you like get around in like some of his games, and he can like drop little bombs while he's in the ball. Yeah, I see that. I feel like there would be a lot of skill in a Metroid kind of Halo game. Yeah. It's like ball dodging, you like <laughs> minimize your hitbox and a lot of those kind of things. But yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, Want to hop to the no November? Oh yeah, November I, I got some things. Alright, what you got? What you got? November, I can assure you a Diamond and Pearl remix mm -hmm. or a Pokemon game of some sort would come out. Yeah. Now if they don't come out this if they don't come out with anything 2021, I would be shocked. <laughs> me too, me too. I feel like they people really want a Diamond and Pearl remakes, and I feel like it's just a perfect money opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then they make it good, or they just take time with the Pearl re Diamond and Pearl remakes. Also, yeah. how come somebody in our Discord server is playing Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven? Does that game even work? That is true. <laughs> it's super off topic and makes no sense. But that, why? Would, that would suck if you got it for Christmas, because probably don't work. It's and true. I'm assuming whoever this is playing it on Xbox One or PS4, and I heard it. They're playing it on their phone, it says. It says they're on their phone, and it says playing Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. It probably runs better on your phone. Probably is. Probably they're playing on like GeForce now or something. Yeah. Alright, so I got some uh, predictions. Also, Pokemon in November. I, I agree with you. I think Diamond and Pearl remakes will release. And I think they'll have another game. Um uh just a spin-off i think uh pokin tournament will have a sequel um i think pokin tag team tournament is what it will be called so you can like tag in your your other pokemon buddy and like get them in real quick like just like it'll be on like an actual boxing like arena thing so you actually have to like tag your dude out and yeah i i don't know i think it'll be play more like tekken than the original did and I think gameplay will just be more refined and better. And I think they'll add one random Tekken character <laughs> to yeah, fight against that. Pokemon. <laughs> uh, what else? What else would there be? Um, maybe something Zelda or Metroid. That's like my go-to. But or actually, probably none of those because I feel like we already filled up all the months. Yeah. I feel like all of those other uh, November is like not really another a different nintendo game i feel like it's like the pokemon yep it is <laughs> like, like no other character nothing ever comes out in november apart from pokemon i i mean hyrule warriors did come out in november this year i feel like it wasn't supposed to i feel like a lot of their schedule got delayed and i uh, i don't i think pokemon snap was probably supposed to release there and hyrule warriors maybe like october or something but but yeah. it didn't, and yeah, now we're here. But do you got anything else for November? You want to go to December? 
No. Do you have anything for November? Uh, for November, just that yeah. Pokémon tournament and Diamond and Pearl uh, remakes. Yeah, I think the, it's the Pokémon. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. No, December. I know. Like this is when the big boys drop. When the biggest boy drops, Breath of the Wild. Too. Dude, let's go. I ah, I got that same thing, bro. Same thing. Like I know, Breath of the Wild Two is dropping December. Like I could assure you, it w if it doesn't drop December twenty twenty one, I will be very surprised again, because that makes no sense. Mm -hmm. It's like they announced it and then just never spoke of it again. Yeah, no, I I totally agree with you. Breath of the Wild two, I feel like will definitely come out in December. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like if anything, there's gonna be. I I, I feel like something Splatoon could come out. I don't know why, but I feel like Splatoon's like kind of a summer thing. It is, yeah, I agree. Gives me that summer feeling. Uh, what else? Um, uh, do you think Splatoon can have a 2D game? Like, sort of I mean, like, you play Celeste, like, could they do that, or you play as like one of the Inklings, or like, some random side character? I don't, I mean, I could see it, but I feel like it didn't really work as well as the 3d environment yeah i, I just uh, think that would be kind of cool like swinging as like or like going as an octopus on like walls and like platforming i don't know and then i feel like um smash smash wise i feel like they'd come out with like some weird thing like maybe some more me's like me variants yeah i feel like metopia variants would be awesome I feel like it's also possible maybe after <gasps> Smash finishes their fighter pass that they could do like Echo Fighter Pass. Dude. I don't know. Metopia 2 December. Metopia 2. <laughs> Dude, I'd love it, but I put it on like the most likely not going to happen list, even yeah. though I want it to happen. I feel like, it, my, that's like if it was going to happen, it would come out earlier, no? I could, yeah. Maybe yeah. like, may, maybe October. I, I also have um, a little specific of a, a prediction for December. I have Le I have Legend of Zelda, um, the sequel to Breath of the Wild is going to come out on December 7th, and it's going to be called The Legend of Zelda The Cursed Hyrule. I don't, that's kind of a stupid title, but I just wanted to come up, predict the title, and maybe, I, maybe I'll be right. Um, but I have a few predictions for it. I think... This is kind of a big prediction, but I feel like it'll be a bigger open world. And I think it'll be similar to the to the other map on Breath of the Wild. But it'll, I think it'll be cursed and darker. And I think uh, the Divine Beasts are going to be back, but they're going to be overtaken by Ganon again. And instead of dungeons, you have to just fight them. Themselves. Dude. Which I think would be cool. <laughs> bosses need to be better in Breath of the Wild too. Yes, I, they were, I like, totally I could, agree. Like I feel like I it, like my real life self. I feel like I can get a fist fight with those <laughs> bosses and still win. Oh like, my god! <laughs> it isn't like how did how did the champions lose to these bosses? I know, dude. Like well, I can literally <laughs> just push them and they cry. Like yeah, <laughs> especially Dark Beast Ganon. Like you could be sitting on the couch eating a bag of Cheetos. And you can still beat that dude. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For a final boss, he's kind of a pushover. Yeah, it's sad. I, I mean, what do you expect from a giant bag of moisture? <laughs> yeah, I know from a giant fat pig that's just been chilling inside Ganon for a while. You know, that's. I know. I don't know. But I got some other predictions here for Breath of the Wild 2, or the Cursed High Rules, what I'm calling it. Uh, I think we'll have a return to form like of normal dungeons and I think that will there'll be seven of them Which is kind of a lot, but I, that's how much there normally is in Zelda games is like seven There's to eight. eight I'd say yeah, yeah. Eight. eight is like the normal dungeon count. Yeah, so I think there'll be seven normal dungeons and then they'll also be um, Eight will be the final one which will be the castle, but I don't think we'll go to Hyrule Castle if you you played uh, Ocarina of Time, right? Yeah. So at the end of Ocarina of, or not the end of Ocarina of Time, um, but when you're an adult, Hyrule Castle changes to Ganon's castle. 
So it's like, like a Dark Souls building. Yes, yeah. So I think Ganon's castle re will return, and that'll be the final, the final like dungeon you'll go to. I think it'll be two players, um, possibly. I hope it's two players pl with a playable Zelda. Um, and I think if like one of your player, if like your co-op partner dies, you have to like have food to revive them. Um, <laughs> Uh, so they're still cooking in the game and you could still do the dungeons in any order and I think also what will come back uh, is you will be able to go underwater I think that really annoyed me in Breath of the Wild oh, too. Oh yeah that would annoy me so bad. Yeah. I was like I want to go under the juices. Mm -hmm. Yeah I was know. like why am I dying swimming in water <laughs> from my stamina meter I think they'll change that Hopefully. I can literally swim an entire lake and I can still survive. <laughs> yeah. Like I have more control over my stamina. But it's like... But still... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was annoying. <laughs> the reason why they did that is because they had like a giant sheet of water on the bottom and they pulled it up and if you go under, you would go under the map. Oh, really? That's why they did that, yeah. Oh. That's funny. I wish we could do that. <laughs> And I think I with going underwater, I think iron boots will return. So you can, like, go all the way down and sink, you know? Yeah. I like sense. that. <laughs> go under the map. Also, I have a prediction. I think the Master Sword will be taken from you really early in the game. Like, by some random thing, person. That one dude Evil from, person. Uh, <laughs> in Age of Calamity, the weird guy with the eyeball on his head. Um, uh, maybe him, but I mean, I don't, I don't think he's here still. I think he's dead. Uh, yeah. But that game I, doesn't really fit in the timeline. Like it's. I, no, no, the thing is, like, does it though? Because, okay, so I'm just confused because there's two futures of Hyrule now, and of course, mm -hmm. whenever like they couldn't just make a nice prequel and then have it yeah. in with with Zelda with um Link going. It's over. Or no, with Gan. Going, it's over, Link. I have the high ground. <laughs> and Ganon's like, you under or Link is like, you underestimate my power. Mm -hmm. And then, or something like that. I don't really know who would be in that position, but <laughs> I feel like that would be. I would feel like now they just complicated the timeline and they're just opening it up for more Zelda games. Yeah. So whether Breath of the Wild two takes place in. Age of Calamity post Hyrule or post war mm. or normal Hyrule post war or post, calam post calamity. Yeah. I feel like it's going to take post calamity. Like just normal Breath of the Wild. Yeah. After that. I sequel. hope so. Like that's what I think is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And then other Zelda games will take place after Age of Calamity. How do you think that they'll handle. Cause this is they're kind of in a weird situation here where like you're already kind you already have the master sword you already have the hylian shield coming into breath of the wild 2 and you like link's already super powerful and usually you like have to upgrade yourself in a zelda game so do you yeah. think you'll start out with like more hearts than you will in a normal zelda game well i'm not sure how this one works but i feel like you're gonna lose all your stuff early on. Like you're gonna explore the cave is like the early thing. That's gonna where everything's gonna start. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna find Ganon and he's gonna whoop you and then take Hyrule back. Yeah. And then he, slowly he's gonna it's gonna show like a story of Ganon regaining power slowly from him being a husk of what he used to be. Yeah. To him being like Ganondorf and then him being super like like for for um for. Um, Breath of the Wild 2, I want Ganon to be like a, like a threat like he was back in Twilight mm. Princess. Yeah. And maybe the Twilight would come back again. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna name it that. I was gonna name it something Twilight, because I w wanted that. <laughs> um, But yeah, I, I agree. I think somehow all your stuff will be taken away. And you'll con you might still have more hearts when you start than a normal Zelda game, but you'll have to find and get all your stuff back. Yeah. I feel like Zelda's gonna get kidnapped, like, right at the start of the game, though. Dang. I really hope that somehow they make it multiplayer. Yeah. That'd be cool. Like, you don't have to do multiplayer, but you can. 
if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and then also, I th I don't think there'll be any more blight Ganons. At least I oh, hope yeah. there's not. <laughs> yeah, there's not gonna be any more blight Ganons. That, cause that was like his enraged form. But now that we figure out Ganondorf is sealed under there. Yeah. This is like that's the real Ganon there. You're just fighting his weak links, his <laughs> weak juice variants. His juice variants. Yeah, but then yeah. Calamity Ganon is gonna come back and he's gonna be a threat. I Not Calamity Ganon, but yeah. like Ganondorf. Ganon Ganon. Ganondorf, yeah. yeah. Calamity Ganon just seems to be like his puppet phase. Mm -hmm. he's puppet just, Ganon. He's just <laughs> sealed by that one hand. Mm -hmm. Dang, that's weird that that one hand you're talking about is in, in the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. That hand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I also, I have my one last prediction. So I have Breath of the Wild 2 coming out in December, but I think we'll also get our last Smash character here in December. And I oh, think geez. it'll be a Zelda character. But not I the one you're it. thinking of. I think... I I, I this is kind of lame, but I was thinking about it, and I was like, people are gonna be mad with like any character getting in, like even if it's a Breath of the Wild champion, that because like the majority of them have a sword, and then oh. and then like what is it? Ravali has a, looks like Falco, and they're gonna be mad. They're like, oh, they just put Falco in. So I think they're gonna put King Roam, the King of Hyrule. He's gonna join he's Smash. He's too thick, though. That's my <laughs> only complaint. He's like too fat. That's that's why he's good. You gotta put more fat characters in. Get more people to fight Ganon. Oh yeah, he's thick. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they'll put him in. I think somehow they'll incorporate his final Smash with, like, Wind Waker. Even though like that's not. I don't know if that's like the same dude, but. I, I just want them to like somehow bring in his boat, oh, boat from Wind Waker funny. as like a final smash. Even though I don't know if that's like the same guy, but yeah, it's not the same guy. <laughs> but that's that's all my predictions for um yeah uh twenty twenty one. I think King Roam getting in going yep. to be that last one, that yeah, last I character. Yeah, I agree with all those predictions. <laughs> Whoo! Thank you for watching, boys. Yeah, thank you, boys. Catch you back in 2021. Yeah, 2021 predictions coming uh, December 2021. <laughs> Our yeah, 2022 man. predictions. Frick. 2022 All predictions. Right.